Here to discuss this is founder and executive director of the National Security Institute, Jamil Jaffer. So, Jamil, first of all, what do you make of Congressman McCall's take on how Private Travis King is being treated? Well, look, I think Chairman McCall is exactly right. Um, you have every reason to be concerned uh, about the way uh, that Army Private uh, Travis King is being treated because we know about the way the North Korean regime treats its own people uh, as well as captives from other states. Yeah, and, and timing is everything. So does Private King's timing to sprint into North Korea give North Korea leverage? Well, it's never a great time for these things to happen, but obviously we have ongoing tensions in the region. Uh, the North Koreans have been launching both cruise missiles and ballistic missiles um, into the sea off the coast of South Korea, um, in part in a complaint because the U.S. has docked, recently docked a nuclear-capable Ohio-class uh, submarine, the USS Kentucky, uh, there for the first time since the 1980s. Yeah, which is ironic because uh, Kim Jong-un is in there. It's his defense move because but yet he is the one who's been launching ballistic missile testing ballistic ballistic missiles left and right uh, a tune of what about a hundred since last year. That's exactly right. And we know that the North Koreans obviously have nuclear weapons capabilities now. Uh, the real concern is that not only are these ballistic missile tests going to continue and increase as they have over the last year, uh, but that they may very well be teeing up for a further nuclear test, potentially of a hydrogen uh, bomb capability. Ugh. Let's take a listen right now to State Department Press Secretary Matthew Miller on contact between the U.S. and North Korea. There is no regular contact. I'll say communications between our two countries are limited. Uh, we have made clear on a number of occasions that um, uh, we have wanted to have discussions with them uh, about their nuclear program and their violation of U.N. Security Council resolutions. We have um, uh, uh, made outreach to them on a number of occasions, but uh, the responses have been limited. So Kim Jong-un has specific demands and without real proof of life or condition, how long will the State Department allow private uh, Travis King's you know, captivity to be used as a bargaining chip? Well, you know, this is the challenge. Uh, you know, Private King having gone over the border voluntarily, uh, intentionally, some might say, uh, because he didn't want to face charges here at home in the United States, um, is obviously it's problematic on its own. Uh, we never leave anybody behind. We're constantly fighting to get uh, the dozens of Americans that are detained in other nations overseas back. Um, but this is a challenge because there he is in North Korea. He's now a bargaining chip uh, for the North Koreans. He's not going to be treated well there. If he thought he was going to do better uh, by going to North Korea than coming here to face the music for his for his actions, uh, that was a mistake by a private king. And now the State Department is in a tough position because there are no real effective conversations going on with North Korea at this point, whether over their nuclear program or over Sergeant K a private king. We'll be watching and you'll be back to discuss it. Jamil Jaffer, thank you as always. Take care, Jamil. Thank you. Thanks, Rathel.